Hello, welcome to the Keyence IV3 training module. This video will walk you through setting up the IV3 in a Siemens PLC. In this example, we'll be using TIA Portal version 16 that the steps should apply to all versions. Before we set up the PLC, we have to make sure our IV3 is set for ProfiNet communication. To do this, we'll head to IV3 Navigator in Program Mode, then click Advanced Settings and the Utility tab. Under FieldNet slash ComUnit settings, we'll make sure we have our protocol set to ProfiNet with handshake control and byte swap disabled. I'll set the ProfiNet device name as IV3-600MA, which is the IV3 model I'm using. After setting the protocol to ProfiNet, the IV3 will restart to apply the changes. Now that that's set, open a new project in TIA portal. I'll name this one IV3 connection project, then click Create. Once the project is created, we'll click open the project view. Then I'll select add new device and we'll add the PLC we're using. In this example, we'll be using a Siemens S7500 PLC. But again, these steps will apply to most all models of Siemens PLCs. Now we've added our PLC and it automatically opens in device view. Click properties and then add new subnet. If necessary, change the PLC's IP address so that it's on the same network as the IV3. Next, we'll click Options from the top menu, then Manage General Station Description Files GSD. It opens a window which shows a folder containing the latest version of the GSDML file for the IV3, which can be downloaded from the KeyInce website. I've already installed this in my PLC. If you have not already done so, then you should click Install. Once that's installed, we'll click Network View, then go to our hardware catalog and select other field devices, ProfiNet IO, Sensors, KeyInce Corporation, KeyInce Vision Sensors, IV3-XXXX. We'll drag and drop this into our network like so. Next, we'll click and drag from the PLC node to the IV3 node to establish communication. Now we'll double click the IV3 icon to pull up the device properties. Click General, then we'll rename the IV3 to match the ProfiNet device name we set in IV3 Navigator, in this case, IV3600MA. Next, we'll go to Ethernet Addresses under ProfiNet Interface and select IP Address is set directly at the device. Here, you can also set your update time under IO Cycle. However, keeping it set to Automatic will usually work fine. Now we can right-click our PLC in the Devices tab and select Compile Hardware and Software Only Changes. Then we'll right-click the PLC again and click Download Hardware and Software Only Changes. Here, we'll click Start Search to find our PLC, and after a few seconds we're able to select it, and then click Load. If any messages pop up, simply choose an action to resolve them and then click Load. We now have our IV3 fully connected to our PLC via ProfiNet. Thanks for watching.